Hey, how you all doing? Thanks for tuning into this video. Now I've got a really exciting painting to show you now. In the next few minutes or so, I am going to be painting on this giant canvas behind me. We're going to be using a classic colour scheme. Red, black, white and gold. I can't wait to get going. I hope you are too. Are you ready? Let's go. Okay, fantastic. Right, we're going to get going in just a second. Let me introduce you to the canvas down on the floor. Uh, this particular one, nice big canvas, and I do suggest that if you are going to have a go, you try and get the biggest piece you possibly can. Uh, this one is 270 centimetres in that direction, and it's 170 in this direction. It's sat on my big tables because I'm trying to get a level surface. Uh, that's why you can see canvas either side. But there we go. Look, that's what I'm going to be painting on in this video. And I think, if you're all sitting comfortably, uh, we'll probably get going. Now we're going to whiz on to our Rome cam. If you've never seen that before, it's a fantastic thing. Let's switch over right now. This is a Rome cam, which means I can take the camera anywhere I want to go. We've just adjusted the lighting as well for the camera. And over here is my arsenal of colour. We're going to be doing a rich red kind of tomatoey, beautiful, almost with a hint of orange kind of red. I've got black, which is both in gloss, and I've got some neat black, ready to add some accents on in a little while. I've got a brand new gold, which is called ground crown gold. I've got one called copper, which is a gorgeous, rich metallic. We'll probably be digging the spoon into that very, very shortly. And we've got some royal gold, which has this beautiful metallic flake to it. So we're probably going to be using some of that as well. And I've pre-thinned it with solvent thinners. And that is about to get, and I kid you not, completely splashed, dashed all the way across this canvas. One other thing to note, this has been pre-base coated. So from the factory, it comes with gesso primer. And you can probably just see the difference between matte and semi-gloss in the lighting. And the semi-gloss sheen finish you can see is me using a very thinned down version of the white paint just to do a very light base or skim coat as we call it, uh, which uh, means that I can even out all the undulations in the canvas and get a much smoother finish. Something quite important for this technique because I don't want the paint to start sinking into the weave of the canvas. Okay, right now we've established the basics. Well, let's do some painting button okay because now we're going to put two big red splatters on this is going to be quite interesting what i'm going to try and do is do them opposing so i'm going to do kind of a a, a flick because i want to get a little bit of a, a an arc on this one i'm going to do the same in this direction so we're about to throw paint everywhere i'm going to do the same kind of on the black going in the opposite directions and then we're going to put some loops and swoops to embellish over the top sounds pretty simple the technique is pretty simple thin paint throw it on the canvas see the uh, trick is to practice because you want to make sure that it looks exactly how you want it. So I think then, without further ado, let's make sure I've got enough in here, which I think I'm just going to pull that down slightly. That's why I've got two cups. It might be a little bit too much in there. And we are going to do our first throw. Right, OK. OK, here we go. Now, when I've done the, each one, I'm going to show you on the Rome cam exactly how cool it looks. So let's see, I position myself and probably have to step on here at some point. Here we go. Right. So does that go? I'm just trying to work out which way this is going to go. I might just shoot this one off the side, actually. OK, let's see. Start at about there. Are we ready? Three, two, one. Nice. I like that. Hey, <laughs> sweet. OK, now you can see on the overhead there, that's quite an expression. We've got some nice action going off towards the edge, which is what I want. We've concentrated the paint in the middle, which, of course, is going to be the focal point. Uh, and I think I'm going to get a smaller amount coming off the other side now, a bit like an explosion. Purists amongst you would probably say, use a different red. But actually, I really like this red. And uh, this is all about keeping things consistent. So I'm going to do the same going off on that side. So now we're on corner cam. You should be able to see this going off here. 
And this one I'm going to try and loop over a little bit, all right? So without stepping onto the canvas, let's see how we get on with this. Three, two, one. Yeah, I like that. That's pretty good too. They are finished. <laughs> let's have a look on Rome Cam, shall we? Three, two, one. Rome Cam, there we go. Color chain. Oh no, we're still on it. We'll keep on those lights, but we've got Adrian out in control, who is doing all the camera changes. And we're recording this in one go. Now, look at that with the light reflecting off it. Let's go and have a look at all those bubbles because as the paint hits the surface of the canvas, we've trapped air. And these bubbles will actually start to dissipate. They're quite interesting, aren't they? This is purely for that absolute drama of the paint. That's beautiful, that. Single colour at the moment on the white background. But we've got all the movement going in all the same direction, which is fantastic. That giant splash right across the canvas. Gorgeous. That very, very happy with that. That's really nice. Now got to be very careful on the black. So that's the one we're going to go with next. And it's going to be not a lot of black at this rate because I'm really so far. There we are. I've got the colour change. Bring out the, the strength of that really nice red. Let me get the black decanted to roughly the kind of amount I want. And I'm going to try and flick these. That's <clears throat> uh, so what I mean by that. Uh, is to try and arc them a little bit. So where we've got these opposing ones, uh, I might try and do a bit of a flick around so I get a little bit of a, yeah, bit of a curve on these. Um, so, which camera are we on, buddy? Fantastic, might as well stay there then. So I think the first one will go for an arc over here. And it's just, I don't want to overdo this, so I'm going to be careful on my paint. I can't take it off, but I can always put it on. This is only a drop, but I don't want to overdo things, okay? So let's see if I can get two drips. I'm going to like an arc over there, but I still need to throw it. Let's tell you what I'm going to do. Let's get on the, on the knees. So I'm kind of that, through the middle, but that. Uh, just practicing. <laughs> Me waffling, but... Okay, are we ready? Let's let's see. Let's see if I can do that. Here we go. Okay, yeah, I'll take that. Just off centre, but that's fine. Don't mind that. Let's do the same. Now I know what the quantity feels like. Let's do the same on the other side. Again, I don't want too much because I can always put it on. Uh, so I'm going to go around and we'll do it on the opposing corner. Let's see if I can link this through the middle. Back onto overhead cam now. Okay, I've still got a quite nice eye. Right, it's not too direct, that one, so that's quite nice. Let's see if I can go how I can do this one. Yes, that's more like it. Nice. Yeah, so we've got our arc on the other side, which is great. Got it through the centre as well, so we're defining our focal point through the middle. Uh, so that's cool. Yeah, I like that. I'll tell you what we actually can do now, which is quite interesting, is it's kind of morphing in my head. I'm trying to decide which direction to take it in is that's my thin one I'm just talking to myself for a moment so now i've got to decide where my other colors start to go and i feel now this is starting to develop a kind of thing almost a figure of eight pattern so when we've got the splashes in there i think what i'd like to do now is pop some copper and some gold in so we're going to put some little lines in there some little twizzle jizzles i don't really know the technical term for that so, while I get ready for my pause, I'm going to give you a shot on the overhead now, some really nice slow pans. Now, even though we've only just used two colours, there's a tremendous strength and energy in those. And these colours, just red and black, are fantastic for that. They're such a powerful combination. I absolutely love using them. And what's interesting here is the way that the white space is being defined by the two colours that surround it. And I think that's really nice because it's given me uh, kind of carte blanche now to be really quite lyrical now with the movements that go over the top. So I'm going in with a small shot glass of copper. And then when Aid is giving you the nice shots from the overhead, I will then get the copper. So this is time for me now just to try and think about where the copper's going to go. I really like the tail we've got through the centre. So I'm just trying to think now. 
you know, where it crosses in the middle, that's pretty intense. You can already start to see the reaction of the paint through the center of it, which is looking really nice. Very happy with that. So while we finish the pan, I'm just going to have a walk around now. The great thing about moving in 360 degrees is, well, you can see it from every single facet and every single angle. I'm just deciding now what's going to be a really, really interesting line to put this quite tricky consistency copper on here. Loving it already, but obviously we need to treat this, this area just here. But I'm fine with that. So let me just think where that's going to go. It's actually really good that we've developed that little bit of white space in the middle. So as with all of these things, we uh, we get what we're given. There's, there's no hard and fast rule to where the paint's ever going to end up or what it's going to look like. And the skill is what we do with what we have. So I think now this is kind of defining where the, where the twists and turns and the loops should be. So I think we'll have a little go with that. Okay, right. So we've got a decent view now. And I think, are we all ready to go, buddy? Right, okay, so we're going to go in with the copper. Let's get down on the knees. Okay, so if I go, right, that sounds, I'm just trying to move to the movement in my head. Uh, that's quite nice. And then I can maybe loop one round there. Yeah, actually, yeah, I could do a little figure of eight. Oh, yeah, loop and back round again. Not figure of eight, little loop. Okay. Let's, let's see how that goes. Um, actually, I might come in from this side. No, I need to come in from over there. Well, it's going to be quite difficult because it's quite a big canvas. <laughs> Can't stretch where I need to stretch. It doesn't matter. Okay, here we go. Right, it's fine. Let's get the first one in. Uh, we're going to refill that and do another one on the other side. And I think we'll go inside the loop on this one. And that feels quite nice. Let's see how far we can get. Okay. Yeah, I like that. It's giving some, uh, some movements. Now this is going to define where I go on with the rest of it. So, so far, so good. Yeah, I like that. We'll be dropping probably some little twists of black in as well, just to accentuate that. That's the copper, don't want to overwork things, and so that's it for the copper. For now, I don't think we're going to need any more of that. I've got another one called Crown Gold. I'm probably just going to do one application of that, so let's get some of that into, the, into a fresh shot glass. And now I can think about where that might go as well. If indeed it does need to, I feel maybe something through the center, definitely, so I wonder if I could get that as a loop or maybe around this side do i need to go through the red or does the red stand on its own merit well these are the tricky questions great to be able to walk all the way around because you can kind of assess all the things that may or may not need to be done i'm not a feeling i need to maybe come out through the red in the center but what that's going to look like not entirely sure and I really like the amount of negative space we've got as well. I think that's really, really good. And of course, the thing is, I don't want to overdo it. I have something, uh, something in my head which I can, uh, I can feel and think about. It's being able to translate it into something that I want to look at. That's always a difficult bit. So yeah, I, th I think, I think we need one out this way. So I'm going to do that. It's just whether I can lean over. If I was to do that. Just one out, out towards the bottom, sort of from there. Yeah, maybe just do a small arc from there. Let's try that. Just practice it. Does it need to go back? No, it doesn't. It can come off the edge. Okay, that's fine. Fine. Yeah, nice. 
Now, a lot of these might get covered up as we put the rest of the colours on, but we're just trying to define some shapes through here now, and I kind of like that. Okay. So, we're going to do a similar thing now with the Queen's Gold. I'm going to get another shot glass. And then we'll have a little look on Rome Cam when this is on. Show you where we're at. Now, this is quite an, an interesting one because it is going to add quite a bit of shine wherever the light gets it. And that's probably got to loop through and come around here. Okay, yeah, I think I can get that. It's very quite gloopy and thick, which is fine. Yes, I think I'll have one going out there. That's nice. Nice. Very nice. That should hold its shape now. It's just going to be a little flash of liquid lightning right in the center. I'm happy with that. This is the stages where we're just you know, defining the boundaries and the positions of everything. So, <coughs> excuse me, uh, that's pretty good. That's that's really kind of giving us a nice focal point towards the centre. So I want to bring some black lines uh, out now. Uh, right, where am I going to take those? Let's do that. I think we'll shot glass that again. But I'm just going to get a little drop from the can. We're on the all camera shot now. You can see it from every single angle. So pick, pick one in your head and look at it, <laughs> and then look at a different one. There's me walking around, look, on the old all camera shots. So it's always a little bit um, fun. There we go, changing the colour again. Going to drop some some black loops in uh, now. It's just going to help define our, our boundaries. Just got to try and think about where I'm going to go with it. Yes, yeah, definitely one I think I need here. I'm kind of going to echo the one that's already there. I like that. It's going to bring your eye over to this side. So we'll do the same again. All right, you ready, buddy? Nice, it's going to be that. Just getting over there, that's the problem. All right, okay, here we go. Nice. Just very gentle, relaxed, kind of like a nice elliptical movement there. I'm enjoying that. We'll definitely get one on the other side. Have a little bit of balance. It's shaping up nicely, folks. Positions of the arcs are holding well. Okay, let's move myself around the other side. Uh, let's pop that down, actually. All right, so while I decide that, good idea to give you a Rome cam shot. Here we go. Okay, there we go. Let's change the colours. You can see things starting to develop now. So here we go. And these were some of the uh, first two metallics. We've got copper over on this side. That's really holding its shape nicely, kind of defining the area that falls within the black. And then we put a crown gold. Just that little feature into the red, which is going to dry very nicely. A little bit of a nice uh, arc shape down at the bottom. Let's see if I can show you that disappearing into the red look. <laughs> Let's go up. We've still got the bubbles, but the bubbles are fine. In fact, if they stay, I don't mind that. And then we just see how gorgeous that Queen's Gold is just reflecting there. Look, look that nice seam going through the red. I said it looked like liquid lightning, and I wasn't kidding. And we've got that gorgeous black I've just put in there, helping to define the negative space area just up here. So I'm really happy with that. Getting that nice shape in the middle really starting to develop now. Uh, the loops are just helping to give ourselves a little bit of definition. In fact, from here, look, you can see that shot, we're very much defining one side to the other. So I'm actually uh, quite liking that orientation as well. Uh, we're going to go in with another, another black couple of lines. And again, I don't want to overwork it, but this, this has got some really nice kind of definition now. But I need to bring a little bit more softness over to this area here. And now I'm just trying to decide what that should look like. I'm tempted to kind of 
kind of go around that. That might be quite nice, but I just don't know if I can reach it. Or I go for it and uh, do it straight over the top of the red. Mm, tricky dicky, no? Which way am I going to go with that? Okay, I think I've got an idea. Right, I might have to go quiet now while I'm uh, thinking. thinking may uh no maybe over there and uh, twist out oh, i wonder if i can do that nice very nice i'm taking that and the, gore, the the really nice thing about these these gentle scoops and loops is it just softens down the, the, the aggression of what lies behind it. And that's all we're trying to do. And it's very much a mixture of two halves. And then we're trying to blend these two kind of resources together, if you like. Um, and give your eye something of a bit of a contrast to, to look at. So far, I think we're achieving that rather well. Uh, interestingly, I'm tempted to put a slightly darker red in on just on one application. But I'm not sure. I'm going to have to think about that. Um, but okay, not too bad so far. Still got a little drop of black left, so I think I'm going to use this one. We we'll probably need to feature that on this side somewhere. So let's see if we can get <clears throat> get one maybe over here. Maybe if I accentuate that one. Okay, yeah, let's try that. Nice, very nice. Okay, so that's just balancing the black up a little bit. The curves look really well. They're not disappearing too badly, so that's pretty good. Almost looks like musical notes to me. <laughs> I guess we all see something different, don't we? Right, that's enough black for now. Okay, that's good. All right, so I'm going to reach for the red that I want. Not that one. It's that one instead. Uh, we're going to keep to the colour scheme. I'm not going to deviate much from that. I'm tempted with some silver, uh, but uh, not at the moment. I don't think I'm going to include silver on this one at the moment. The silver's very nice, but I don't really want to cool it down, if that makes sense. I want to try and keep the vibrancy of it going. And really, this is about the beauty of the movement rather than the strength of the colour. So we're achieving something different, but just by using a smaller amount of colour. So I've got my red. I know the red is very dominant, however, that doesn't mean to say we can't feature it still. And I'm probably going to offset it over into these corners, so I have to be very careful now with my small red loops and where we're going to bring those, but I definitely think it needs doing. And I think if I'm clever, ooh, that, that's a good one. I could do this one as a, as a red one. Yeah, so the loops are holding really well as we've, uh, as we've gone into this so far, so could I? It's, it's a bit of a brave move, but I think if I could come out of there, maybe I could just touch that and go back in. Just practicing the arm movement as to where my arm's going to need to be. I don't think we're that far off now. Oh, maybe I'll come this way. Yeah, maybe I'll go the opposite way, actually. If I can, I'm a bit more controlled there and I can terminate where the red is anyway. Okay, let's try that. Here we go. Yep, I'll live with that. Let's do one the other side as well. It's 
still got a bit of space to fill here, so I'm thinking maybe I can add a... Yeah, let's go from the other side. <laughs> nice! Yeah! Okay, I'll take that. Yeah, we're gently filling up that negative space over there. That's pretty good. Um, actually, that line... I'm going to extend that. I wonder if I can get away with that. Let's just extend that a little bit. It's fine. Yeah, got away with that. Cool. Okay, let's give myself a look from the corner. Uh, that's a very dramatic thing, and I like it. I've done anything like that for a little while. Each time I try these, I always get a different outcome. But then we're always led by the splashes at the start. That kind of dictates what will happen to the rest of it. And if uh, the client does like this, well, this is going to be destined for a conference room in the USA, which is pretty cool. So I'm really, uh, really quite excited by that. That's a real dramatic piece. That really means business. So, uh, yeah, let's just have a look from all angles, make sure I'm not missing anything. Only thing I might do is perhaps bring bring a small loop, if I can get it, of... Uh, what have I got there? Is that crown gold or copper? Crown gold. And let's bring that out and try and do a big loop at the bottom. It's all we really need to do is just do something here, I think. So I'm probably going to have to attack it from this point, but I'm going to have to go quite out with it. And this is a tricky thing because I'm trying to position myself. Okay, so can I get in there, out and round? That's all I need to do, really, is just accentuate that and make it a bit bigger. Okay, well, there's only two chances, isn't there? Slim and none. <laughs> and Aidy tells me we've got the job. Okay, we're good. Nice. Good, so we've now got one of those S-shapes just down at the bottom. That's absolutely fine. Have we got enough down here? Probably yes. And I'm just going to pop another one in the middle because there are a few probably that I think may just need doing. What's the centre? Let's go back in with the copper. These are kind of the little embellishments that I feel might just need to be done. So let's see how close in I can get without doing myself an injury. Okay, we're good with the shot. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Right. So, let's just do a glove change. Let's have a little look at that. I think we need to have a look on Rome Cam now. That's uh, looking really nice. Let's, uh, I'm actually going to leave it on the tripod and see if I can show you on the centre. So let's straighten that up. Uh, see how we go with that, mate. See if I can uh, give you a centre shot on that. Now, can you see that? It's really starting to develop now. There's that gorgeous liquid lightning I refer to. Look, see how that application is moving off? So it's still going to have a little bit of settling to do because those early splashes are, are quite thin. But as we're moving around, it's just elegant, it's simple, it's dramatic, it's all kinds of things. And this really is the absolute love of the paint. Let's come around the other side. And black look, <laughs> some very interesting things. As we get reactions with the paint. And uh, here it's just starting to dry. Look, we've still got elements of the red in there as well, which you might not have picked up. 
So there's our triple loop over on the side, we've got the negative space. And then what we've done with these loops is you're now looking like vapor trails. We just softened up some of these areas. So move around, you can see how the light, whoops, the light is reacting. But yeah, that's 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 interesting. I like that. Well, I'm I'm gonna I'm, I think I'm gonna stop right there. Well, I don't think that needs anything else, and if it does, it'll be for another day. And, uh, let's have one final look at that. Right, Ada's going to give you some nice pan shots on that while we just take a moment or two just to see how we've turned this blank canvas into something other dramatic and wonderful. Okay, there we have it folks. I'm gonna leave it there. So that's the technique. It's some pipe tumblers, some thin down paint and a giant canvas and go have some fun. I've taken something very dramatic and very staccato and turned it into something a little bit more lyrical and uh, calming. And yet we still have all the drama and power of those amazing colors in this particular combination. Right, that's it for this video. Thank you very much for watching. Remember we are live every single Wednesday, most of them anyway, at 7.30 p.m. That's UK time. We hope you can join us on a live stream when we do this with our adverts and we do something from start to finish, very similar to how we've done it right now. We look forward to seeing you on that. Remember to like, share and subscribe if you haven't done so already. And we look forward to seeing you on the next video. Take care. See you soon. Thank you.